Now, this national income can increase because of two to three reasons. So, what I said, how income comes, suppose the country can produce X, Y, Z, there are many products, each having a particular value. Suppose X is priced at 50,000, Y is priced at 10,000, like this. Now, the production is suppose 20 units and over here 10 units. So if you multiply, you will get the total. So let us take a lesser value figure. Suppose the price of X, each unit, each unit of X, if you sell in the market, the price is 5,000 and you sell 20 units. That means or 1 lakh is the expected income from this X commodity. Similarly, Y is prices at 1000 and 10 units are produced. So expected. So a country is very much optimistic that it, it will be able to sell the entire production. So 10,000 is the expected income from Y commodity. Now, when the national income increases, that is the question. There can be number one, increase in volume of output. Increase in volume of output. So, just now what I said, if X is produced at price rupees 5000 and 20 units are produced, then the expected income from X is 1 lakh. And from Y that is 10,000. Now, the total is the expected income. Now, when this total can rise? This total rises only if this amount can increase or only if this amount can increase. For simplicity, we are taking as if two codes are produced in the country. Now, this amount can increase only when we are multiplying the price with the quantity of X. So, if price increases or if quantity increases, we can get a higher value because their multiplication will give me a higher, higher value. So, when you multiply 2 into 3, you get a 6. But with 2, if you multiply a greater number, you get a greater value. So, similarly, if price or quantity, any of them increases, we say that their multiplication will give a higher value and national income, this value actually reflects the expected income. So, expected national income is supposed to rise. So, there may be two things. Number one, increase in output. Number two, increase in price. And number three, we will come to it, technological progress. Now what happens when there is an increase in output? Now if the output or volume of output increases from 20, suppose it becomes 30. So now, if it changes from 20 to 30, it means the quantity of production of X have increased within the country. So now 50,000, let us take the constant price. Suppose X is valued as 5,000. 5,000 into 30 will now give a greater figure. That means 1,50,000 is the expected income from X now. So like this, if Y quantity also changes from suppose 10 to 20, so the expected income from selling Y good is 20,000. So from the production increase of X and Y, the estimated or expected income shows a rise. So all over it will bring a change in the national income if there is a increase in the volume of output produced. So whenever there is more production in the country, we have in our example taken 
simple case that a country is engaged in producing two goods, but in reality a country produces wide variety of good. So if production increases, then we can say that the expected income from the sale will be more. So the nation is supposed to earn more income. Now we go to the second point. What happens when there is an increase in price? So let us now take that there is no increase in the quantity. The quantity is like before. So there will be no change in expected income due to the quantity. Now if suppose price increases. Now price increase means inflation in the economy. That means if you see compare the prices from 2000 if you see in 2021 lot of goods they, their price have increased earlier they were available at a lower price but now over the period of 20 years their price have increased so that is known as inflation now if there is inflation what will happen suppose i am taking that quantity production is same like before x was produced 20 units in this year also it is produced 20 units. Similarly, Y was produced 10 units. In this year also it is 10 units. But price have increased from 5,000. Suppose it is becoming 6,000. And from 1,000, let us take it 2,000. So if the price of X and Y both have increased, then what will be their multiplication? The expected income, now by selling that same 20 units, you get a higher price in the market. So the income generated from X will be more. Similarly, by selling the previous unit only at a higher price, the income expected from Y will be more. So what happens if the quantity produced keeping same? If you are charging a higher price from each item, the expected income increases. So now the income over here is 120,000 and the income from this field will be 20,000 instead of 10,000. So expected income from X and Y increases. So their joint income, if you club together, it will show national income has increased. But there is a problem. When price increases, it does not change the volume or output capacity of the economy. The output capacity is same. Now, if any country wants to grow, if any country wants to be better than before, it has to incorporate some changes which will help them to produce more, which will help them to satiate or satisfy the population. How can we be satisfied if our country is not producing whatever we demand? So they need to increase the volume of output over time. So which is the best way if the output increases over time and if national income increases due to that factor, that is the previous factor that I discussed. That means we are actually looking at a real national income rise. But here, what happens? The output keeping saying the country is not able to produce anything extra. But over time, the price changes for every commodity. So just due to increasing price or inflation, it shows that from the very previous unit, you are earning more. By selling the previous unit, you are earning more. So, it is just due to inflation that reflects a higher national income. Now this is not a good thing about any economy because rising price might increase the national income but rising price also would also poses a problem to us because we the consumer when we will go to buy all these things in the market we have to pay a higher price so the citizens will suffer. So when you are thinking about the entire country, a country should expect its growth or raise in national income not by increasing price because that will pose threat to the citizens or the consumers of the product. So we don't want a nation growing on one hand and the citizens facing a very high problem 
and their cost of living is increasing. So this thing is not called growth in true sense. But when we call growth in true sense, when there is an increase in output and not price, and that means the country's capacity of production and increase, and that is why the multiplication between price and quantity shows a higher income level. So that means national income has increased, country is growing in true sense.